Now, inside of the palace of Ilefe, Olu Ritomi Phillips is thinking the whole palace revolves around her. Little does she know that there are a lot of people planning on her downfall, whether she is eagerly interested or not. She now thinks she has all the whole authority. She is not even aware that there are a lot of people that are planning her downfall inside of the palace. Whether she wants it or not, there is going to be a whole lot of enemies behind you. As long as they see you progressing, there are people that are going to be behind you planning on your downfall, whether you are eagerly interested or not. So all of these your things that you are doing, you think you are smart, but on another level, you are trying to fool yourself and Oni, yet making Oni look anyhow, and that is going to bring a whole lot of trouble for anybody that is following you to plan anything against Oni too. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Real Update TV where we'll bring you top cheese from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. Kolori Tobi Phillips has been warned because now she is acting like as if she is going to be the only person in the palace that has authority apart from Oni which is now sounding so so anyhow for all the people of Ilefe because they don't want a ruler like Olori Toby Phillips. Yes, she has given birth to her child, that is all. So what is the authority she's planning on putting on everybody about? Is she planning to tell everybody that yes, I am now in charge, I am doing this for Oni now, I am doing that for Oni. Oni knows what exactly he can do to solve his situation. He doesn't need anybody at all. As he has told all of his oloris from the beginning, he doesn't need anybody to make any decision for him. If you have a suggestion, that is a suggestion. Bring it to Oni and Oni will tell you what exactly he can do, whether you have to tweak what he's doing or not. But you now assuming that you can make a whole lot of difference is on another different case. Because now Oni will now have to tell you that he is the one in charge, not you. Because now you are behaving like as if you are the only one that can pull all the strings. You are the only one that can bring everything together. You are the only one that can do things to help people inside of the palace of Ilefe. Like Oni is not even worthy of that. That is what you are making Oni to feel like. You are making him feel like as if he's not needed inside of the palace of Ilefe. Of course, we know you are trying to help Oni in whatever he's doing. But there is a high possibility that the Oni you are still trying to help. Eh? Not that Oni will be against you or anything, but the most important thing is that you make Oni feel like he is not doing anything. You make him so vulnerable and that is going to be a huge concept for Oni to dive into. Because you'll be like, how him a king of a, of a kingdom, he can't control them. It is now his wife that is giving them instructions. It is so so wrong in all manner. So he is planning on doing anything he wants to do to make sure that these Oloris understand what exactly he needs to do to them. Not that he is planning on doing anything to stop them or not. No, he is planning to let them know that he is not interested in whatever they are doing. If there is a decision to make, he will have to make it by himself. Not even a single person should come in and make such decisions for him because he has a whole lot of things to do on himself. He has a whole lot of mind. He has that authority to do it. So any Olori coming in should know that yes, Oni is not planning on making anybody have authority over his own kingdom. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to drop your comment down at the comment section. Goodbye you all.